it's fairly common knowledge here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Old Mate is often asked to have a look at various Unix and Linux distributions. Some I love, some I like, some I dislike, and some I absolutely in the dead set fed income department hate. They're the ones I tend to get belted for because I don't like them and you're supposed to like every operating system ever made. However, a good mate of the Backyard Tech Channel and a mate of his has asked if I would give their operating system, the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, going to have a sticky beak at it. It's system setup and product review time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Ben Fitzpatrick, mate of the Backyard Tech Channel, and his friend Justin Brethorpe have come up with a Linux operating system based off a Ubuntu 1804 Mate, JU Linux, or just use Linux. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is System Setup and Product Review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Also viewer video request as well. Good mate of the Backyard Tech Channel, fairly active here on the channel. Also often joins the Backyard Tech Channel livestream conversations, Ben Fitzpatrick. Asked last night if I would give him, would give him and his mates latest Linux spin based off, as I said, Ubuntu 1804 mate. The Backyard Tech Channel treatment going to have a sticky beak at it. Now his mate's name is, and I hope I get this right, and if I don't, I apologise because we all know old mate is no good at names. Justin Brethorpe, I think I've got that right, have created a Linux operating system based on Ubuntu Mate 1804. This is Just Use Linux 17, or JU Linux. We'll go through some of the features and then I'll explain how we're going to do the system setup and product review videos from now on as well. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check out the operating system for yourselves. So, uh, the goal, to create a Linux distribution that makes it easy for easy and fun, I'm sorry, for Windows users to upgrade to Linux without actually, without any real learning curve, okay? Sounds similar to the way Farron's pitched his OS as well. Some of the features, an easy way for Windows users to upgrade to Linux, easy to use Windows XP-like interface, uh, all your favourite programs pre-installed, LibreOffice is there now. If this becomes one of my alternatives, I will remove LibreOffice. No offence to Ben or Justin, it's just that I don't like LibreOffice, I prefer WPS. You get free support, no defragging of your hard drive, no registration or activation keys, no antivirus necessary, and compare it to Windows 10. Now, uh, Ben Fitzpatrick did the 32-bit ISO, his mate Justin did the 64-bit uh, ISO. We're taking a look at the 64-bit ISO because that's the one Ben sent me the link to on Hangouts last night. So, as I said, we're going to do a bit of a change here to the Backyard Tech Channel uh, system setup and product reviews because, again, old mate's been a bit slow on the old uptake factor. Uh, I should have been doing this from the very beginning, only I just realised it this morning Call me an idiot if you wish. Um, in order to maximise the full system, I'm actually going to install VM tools once we get into the OS. Then I'll do the VMX change and then we'll look at the OS as well in its entirety because I think that's going to be the best way of doing it from here on in. That way we know the system works. As good as or at least 95% of the way there to being on physical hardware. So... Let's give, from Ben Fitzpatrick and his friend Justin Brethorpe, JU Linux 17, the Backyard Tech Channel treatment, gonna have a sticky peek at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here's our JU Linux 17 VM. Standard test bench scenario as we know, four gig RAM, dual core CPU and 120 gig drive. Also got USBs installed this time as well. So let's, uh, let's bring this up. Hang on a moment. I'm going to stop that auto boot so that I can maximise the screen for us. There we go. 
Well, that looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Um, I think that looks like a photo of my old backyard from years ago. <laughs> That's very friendly. All right. Start JU Linux 1764. Oh. Well, that doesn't work. That's actually failed right off the bat. All right, hang on. Reset. Unexpectedly disconnected from boot daemon. That's not so good. All right, we'll try com compatibility mode then. That didn't go to plan. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's see what this does. Oh! Hmm. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me just try something. All right. Well, I think it's working here. Um, I don't know what happened, but it disconnected from the boot daemon, then reset. So I'm assuming it's going to work. Not exactly sure what happened there. Okay. The Book of God's Lurf. <laughs> All right, so let... Oh, that's Linux Extras. Hang on, I don't want that. I want to actually install. There it is. Let's just... Uh, Okay, continue. Continue. Uh, we'll get both of them, we'll do it properly. I found this actually has been very handy, actually, um, to install third party software. Um, and that that's just the way I do it. It's probably not the right way of doing it. Um, I know a lot of people would probably say, no, you should compile everything and, and customise it, but to be honest, in some cases, it's just a lot easier to download it, especially if you want to get going quick. If you've got time to compile, go for your life, but if you want to get going quick, especially from the installation, and I've said this before, you're best off just downloading it. You know, you're not having to sit there for hours doing it. I'll just drop everything into one drive. I'm not going to bother doing custom installs. Ah, it knows I'm in Melbourne. Oh, I like that. Okay. and install this and then we'll uh, we'll go and do um, everything else I, I don't ask me why I had this brain idea but it just seemed like a good idea to actually install VM tools off the bat then do the VMX system as well so that we could really get a good idea of the OS as I go and knock a can speaking of which time for a caffeine hit this okay there we go two gig what are you doing 
I'm actually doing anything. Oh, here we go. A little bit slow to start, to be honest with you. Okay, finding files to skip copying. Copying files. have a release file. Hmm. Okay. This is the 64 bit one. I do like the um, desktop look to it, which is nice. I have no idea what it's where it's up to. Time's right at least. It's uh, just after eleven o'clock. Uh, five minutes so far. worst thing is, is with the ESXi hypervisor out in the workshop, I don't actually know what it's doing. Ooh. Oh no, 64 gig of RAM in there, it's only using 14 gig. I've got OpenMan driver and Ferran running, but that shouldn't affect it. Those two OSs aren't actually doing anything, are they? Uh, I'll shut down Ferran. Get clobbered for shutting them down like this, but it doesn't matter. Hmm. bit worried as to whether this is actually going to install properly or not or whether we're going to have to look at this doing it from a hardware point of view. I don't actually know. That's good. I've got a, I've got a flashing light up here which you can't actually see which is good. back through this log of stuff.
It's not happy. Okay, what, what else have we got down here? Well, a few things down there, haven't we? Oh well. I think to save video time, I will. Uh, ooh, uh, we'll come back once this actually does something. Hang on a moment. All right. Well, this is up to something. I don't know what. Um, it's not exactly happy. Um, it's definitely taking a long time to install. And it shouldn't be, um, but I'm worried about that. Does not have a release list. Jeez, my internet slow. Oh, no, there it goes. I'm having internet trouble again this morning because um, I don't know why, <laughs> but it's been a little bit all over the shop. The uploads are working well, but the downloads are not exactly firing. slow today. Oh, I know why it's slow. School's gone back. <laughs> Don't forget, during today as well, I'll be documenting all this bad weather that we're supposedly going to get. Um, the wind's picking up. Oh, you get Thunderbird. storage module. That's alright. Alrighty. A little bit longer than usual to install. Uh, it's sitting on in kernel 4150-23, so it's on the latest Linux kernel. I think I've got Ferron on 413 and Mandriver on 413 as well. I don't think they've gone to 415 yet. module. So I'm missing. Oh, that's just the theme. Okay. Hmm. This should be a lot faster, I would have thought. Okay. So, we will get out of full screen mode because otherwise it's going to throw the uh, throw everything out of whack. Let's see what this goes and does, if anything. Okay, I do like that, I do like that. <laughs> screen and we'll uh, we will uh, get the 
desktop done properly and everything. Okay, so it is a very XP-like scenario. Got to go and find this. There it is. Hmm. I'll take that one for the time being. Apply that. Close that. Oh, okay. Let me um, let me install VM Tools. Our archive manager. We'll extract that into locations, computer, temp, extract. Right, close that. Now we're going to go for hunting for our terminal. Terminal. I can never remember the installation model. Oh, that's it. Probably should have used open, but I'm not going to bother. So we'll install that. I probably could have used open VM tools, but I'm just going to stick with this because I know this works properly. Uh, not at the moment, not at the moment. Yes. Four one five zero dash twenty three. Okay, so we've got a theme that's missing, but that shouldn't bother us too much. And we'll just re-I'll shut it down, we'll do the VMX trick and then uh, we'll load it back in. There we go. Alright. So wait for the desktop to catch up a bit okay so let's um, let me go and do the VMX trick and everything will we'll reboot the system come back in and we'll have a sticky beak at Ben Fitzpatrick and Justin Brethorps JU Linux 17 back in a tick alright so I've done the little VMX trick let's uh, see how this goes alright Yes, we want that. <coughs> uh, it's disconnected from the boot daemon again. It's weird the way it does that. I have to ask Ben why it's doing that. Okay. All right, now, in theory, we've got audio. I'll just check it. I'll be able to see the audio if it does have it. Maybe not. Well, it didn't happen this time. That's all right. All right, so let's, uh, let's get that... Um, 
display right because that's definitely not right. Yeah, okay. We can sort that out at a later date. Keep the configuration. There we go. All right. So let's let's see what we get with this. Um, I can I can see the uh, the XP look to it. I, I can actually see the XP look to it. All right. So let's see what we get. So we get backups. And we saw in Grandpa Archive Manager. We get the Make Calculator, Search Tool, the Font Viewer. Plume is there. Ah, oh, so you get the Plume text editor. Plank, Redshift. Oop, mouse is. A screenshot and the Ubuntu Mate Guide administration. So, ah, so you get Software Boutique with this and Synaptic Package Manager, so that's all good. Education, Bible Guide. Oi. Oh, study the Bible. Okay. So you get Eye of Mate Image Viewer, Mate Color Selection, Shot Well and Simple Scan, Interwebs. So you get C Monkey, Firefox, and Chromium. So you can pick any three of them. Obviously, I'll go with Firefox personally. Full LibreOffice Pack, I will probably get rid of that and go with WPS, personal preference. We've got preferences there, additional drivers. That's all fairly good. Sound and video. So you get Brasirio, Cheese, Rhythm Box, Music Player, and VLC. System tools. So you get the GDB package installer. You get the log view, log view viewer. Mouse is not too good today. Disk usage analyzer. We're all familiar with that. The system monitor and um, we'll actually take a look at that. We'll see how it's going. Okay, so we're using yeah, just over three quarters of a gig of RAM, you now four gig, nothing of the swap, which is nice, and around six percent, a little bit more than that. CPU ones on two, CPU twos on six, so yeah, eight to nine percent of total CPU. Network history's obviously nothing. That's good. Okay. Universal access, you've got onboard and screen magnifier, which is nice. Control center. Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. So heaps in here. Also firewall, that'll probably be simple firewall, will it? Yep. So the standard uh, Linux simple firewall, which is nice. Full network connections. That... It's a very control panel look to it, which is nice. If you use, if you like using XP, this is actually fairly good. Now, what do we got here? Okay, so two networks for some reason. There's our shutdown and profile manager. See what version of Firefox we get. I'll move that over there so we can actually have a look. There's simple scan, we're gonna get rid of that. There's simple scan. Firefox did not load, why not? Try that again. Oi! Firefox. Firefox is not loading. Oh no, here it comes. It's slow. Alright, we end up with 61.0. Okay, so that's good. See which version of VLC we get. Yeah, it's VLC three. Which one is it? Okay, three oh one. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. To be honest with you. Well, this is actually quite nice. I'm actually very impressed. The feel of it is nice. Um, the layout's good. Let's go see what we've got in here. Okay, welcome to Finish Installer. Yes. This is now going to go off and update everything by the looks of it. Oh, God, my internet is slow. Um, 
I think we'll worry about that at the moment. Okay. I did read that. Nice outlay for the file manager. Desktop icons are good. That's actually... It is actually very nice. He's done a very nice job of this. Very nice job of it. As always, let's see how much stuff's in the ETC. Oh, damn. Mouse is hyper fast. I need to slow it down. Let's see what we get in the ETC folder. And, yeah, it's pretty big. There's a fair bit in there. Obviously, you'd be able to customise a lot of that as you see fit. There's our DACP service. All right. Actually, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. I'm actually quite impressed with this. You get your PDF viewer there. Let's, um, what preferences do we have here? Okay, let's, actually, we better check that I've got audio working, hadn't I? Oh. No, it's not the VM that's the problem, it's actually my mouse. Let's go have a look at YouTube, and we'll see if I've got the audio working properly. The unboxing authority. Well, I don't know where that came from, but anyway. we got audio? No, we do not. All right. Need to go find the audio. Need to go and find the volume. Oh, there it is. Sound setting. Hardware. Stereo output. Still nothing from the desktop audio. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Yeah, okay. I know why. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can sort that out at a later date. It is very quick. Uh, I'm a little bit... A couple of things I'm concerned about. It disconnects from the boot daemon, um, but eventually does load. Let's go have a look at this. The law of God given to men and women. <laughs> well, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. Alrighty, well, it is actually quite good. You get a fair bit in there. Uh, let's see how much space is used. Where's that? Uh, disk usage analyzer. Okay, so 14 gig on the total install, not too bad. Um, obviously, it's a 120 gig drive. And just on, that's not bad. That's not bad. That, that's just on 10%, which is good. All our software from Ubuntu, which is nice. Let's actually a fair bit here. They're right, everything is here for you to get started. There's Thunderbird. Let's um let's have a look for Sea Monkey. So there's the latest Sea Monkey, which is what are we on? Version two four nine two four nine three. So there's Sea Monkey with a heap there to play with. This is actually quite nice. I'm actually going to have a decent play with this. See what desktop backgrounds we get. Oh. Oh, there we go. All right, let's pick something from Victoria. It's going to look like somewhere in Victoria. I was going to say that looks like the high country, but it actually doesn't. Uh, we'll go with that. It's the closest thing to country Victoria. 
It's not Victoria, but it's the next best thing. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's actually quite a nice little uh, disc drive. There's plenty here. Let's see what themes we get. Okay, so you'll have to install that. All right, we'll just close that. So there's some stuff you'd obviously have to install for yourself. It is very nice. Right, custom window applications. It's very, very nice. It's quick. Once it settles down, it is actually quite quick. Let's go and have a look at some of the software that you're getting from the software boutique. Stocking the boutique, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, don't you? Seriously? All right. So that's pretty much the whole of the Ubuntu software repositories here. Install Flash, we've got Brave. Brave, oh, Brave Browser. Okay, I haven't actually had a look at that yet. Chromium. Oh, Callbird. Yeah, FileZilla, Firefox, Jabber Client, Google Chrome if you want it. Fair bit there. Sound and video. Oh, ambient noise, that could be interesting. Adore. Channel disc recorder, yeah, I know about that. Audacity cheese, Clementine's available for you. Ooh, now full codec pack. That's all right. Play music, yeah, handbrake, Kazam. Okay, system tools. So there's a fair bit. Oh, bleach bits there if you want to install it. There's a hell of a lot there. There's deconf editor. I would have assumed Deconf would be pre-installed, but it's actually up to you to install it. That's probably not a bad thing. It's probably not a bad thing. There's KDE. That's the first thing I'd be actually installing would be um, console. It's a mouse replacement program that moves the pointer as you move your head. Okay. That's a new one. Stuff for servers if you need it. Some of the fixes, more software, that's interesting. That's actually really good. It actually, it is, it is actually quite a nice little Linux operating system. Linux distro. Onboard settings. Window. Oh, yeah. I'm actually quite impressed. Look and feel. Huh. Oh, okay. Some things aren't working properly. There's hardware. Oh, there's look and feel. Okay. Make tweaks so you can show up the computer. Get rid of the home folder. Change the panel. Oh, yeah, okay. Windows. That's actually really nice. Uh, you can rename it. That's actually really good. I tell you what, both Ben and uh, Justin have done a really good job with this. I'm actually quite impressed with this. I think I'm going to have a bit more of a play with it during the day today. There we go. System setup, product review. I will leave a link in the description below to go and download it for yourselves. Um, it is actually it is nice. I, I won't I won't say it's not. It's actually very um very decent. It's quite a nice little distro. There we go. No audio. I don't know why. Hardware. Yeah, that should be it. I don't know why it's not coming out there, but anyway, all right, well, no, no audio anywhere. Oh well, doesn't matter. 
I've mucked something up. I don't know what. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Stick around. A fair bit more coming up on the channel today. Go and support this. If you're interested in having a look at it for yourselves, I recommend some people might actually find it quite easy to migrate from. There we go. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.